So if you're out in Black River Falls in the uh, or Black River State Forest, don't ignore the county parks. I am in a county park right now and I have got a phenomenal lake out here. They actually have scuba diving permits. There's camping out here and some folks next to me just released a bunch of uh, homing pigeons. Beautiful place. So the water here, I don't know if you can see it, unlike everywhere else around here where it is that deep tea brown, this is an interesting kind of blue that is something I've never really seen before. And they have a lot of diving options here. It's really kind of a cool county park. So after doing some reading, I have discovered, or learned I should say, that this county park and its beautiful pristine lake, uh, no motorized boats allowed out there to keep it pristine, um, was an old iron ore, oh, iron ore mine. So this is a remnant of a mine. This ramp going down is probably actually part of the mine. So if you followed that down by scuba diving, you'd probably follow the actual road that went down into the mine and this lake goes up to about 350 feet deep because of it it took two years for it to refill once they took the pumps out and let the groundwater and other tributaries coming in here uh, fill it so it is a beautiful pristine lake in a county park bluegill alley dive access and this little parking area is the gardens gardens dive access so they have specific names for different little spots and I'm sure there is a map somewhere for divers tell them what to looking for so I am now in what I think they're calling the trailings basin so when they mined, all of the stuff that didn't have iron ore in it had to be put somewhere. And I think that is this area that is being restored to a prairie. And I'm not even sure if I'm on a road. They didn't tell me I couldn't come this way. So this little water area is along the edge of the trailing basin where I've been driving around it. I'm hoping to be able to get up and get a better view again of how big this is, how much earth was moved in this mining operation and is now being restored to prairie. So part of the history of this as a mine was it was apparently one of the more environmentally friendly mines. They didn't use chemical processes to separate the iron ore, they used a magnetic process. So I'm in the middle of the trailing, trailings area. And I'll try to give you a sense here. I just took a drive around it. Let's see if I can get you a sense of the size. So this whole area that in a way kind of looks like a re reclaimed landfill is actually all the material that came out of what is now that lake when it was a mine and is being nicely restored into a prairie grasslands, a little bit of rolling hill with some wetlands in it too. 
So the road network in this park is fairly extensive to take you to all sorts of overlooks, also used as bike paths and hiking paths, but there are a lot of other paths that wander off and let you explore nature in this unique man-made environment that has been reclaimed and it really shows when an effort is put in to try to put something back to nature it can be done but with man-made uh, geology and topography to it now we've also got a campground here I don't know how extensive it is yet it wanders through the middle of this park we're just gonna zip through it at a safe speed site 4, site 3 it's kind of a hilly campground but if you come here to go diving or something like that this is a good campground for you site 6 so we could got water hand pump for water yep no sanitary station here you got to go to Castle Mound for that so it's a kind of open campground seven eight on the right kind of park amongst the trees there are a few obvious parking pads but for the most part, it's just kind of open grass and uh, figure it out. 10 there. 11 on my left. 12 on my right. So that was Ways Lake Recreation Area County Park. Definitely if you're looking for a place to stay in the Black River Forest area, might be worth checking out uh, they're fairly primitive sites with vault toilets but the park looks absolutely amazing with some wonderful hiking opportunities available and great views